now i will discuss about the form validation technique how i will validate this form that i have created here you see that there is a name property and it has value name and all the input box has the name property make sure that all the name property has the value here now i am going to the contact controller here i am going to make it off here what i will do i will make a form validation technique so in order to do that i will call here the request object that i have created under the request class so here request validate this will be my function and here there will be an array system and here i will give the values that is like this what is name here this name is actually the name value here if i call here the visitor name here into the controller here this will be the visitor name like this okay what is actually this because here i am going to make a validation that this name must have a value when you are a visitor you are going to contact with the admin of this website then you are going to fill up the form and send the message to admin so you will must have to give your name if you want to make this input box as required for example you want that a person must have to give the name that means it is a required field if this is a required field then in this input you just call this uh, property value as name and that name you have you have to call into here under the validate function and here you will have to give that this name is required this record is a built-in and you cannot change this text okay so you must have to use as it is that is required if this validation is passed that means there is no error then it will come to the next line and i am going to show here that is success like this for example i am going to make the validation off now go back to the form and if i do not give anything here then click on submit you will see that the success is showing in the store that means it actually is working because it is showing me this message but if I make this enable, that means validation enable, then what will be happen? Now if I go here, refresh, and then if I click on submit, you will see that it is not going to store. Actually, it is coming to store, but it sees that there is an error here. So as there is an error here, it will automatically back to its previous state. That means it will, it will come to this page also, to its previous position. That means in the contact form. So you are not seeing any progress here it is back to the form now i want that in the contact form in this page i will show a validation error message so now i will show you how i will uh, show you the validation error message here so this is very easy and i will show you how i can show the error message uh, in front of visitor because the visitor will not understand what is going to be happen so in order to make the visitors understand you must have to uh, put error message here i am going to call an if condition okay so this is actually the if blade directive and in this if blade directive as a parameter i will call the error variable the error variable and here i will call if there is any error any is the built-in function here that means this error vari uh, variable this error this will return actually from here if there is any error it will return back to here with a variable that is the errors uh, errors here actually errors if there is any errors for example i am going to show here uh, there is error now i am going to refresh the form now if i click on submit you see that it is showing there is error if i refresh that error is gone that means it is working as the flash message that means in this error variable the message will be stored for only one time if you refresh the form it will be gone for example click on submit showing that this is error right now if we refresh it is gone that means this will immediately be removed so this is uh, like the flash messages it will work actually only one time now instead of error i want to show actually the main errors so for that you will have to use a for is this is a for is function because the errors that coming like this it is actually an array format so here i am going to call all the errors so here all errors will be into here uh, into the all function so errors all 
I will just break all the errors in a single error like this and here I will just put the error message that is like this and here I am going to use a beer and it should work now let's uh, try with that you will understand there is a name if I click on submit you see that the name field is required remember that here the string D and field is required these portions are actually can you cannot change here by default because it is given by default there is another way uh, in which uh, in which way we can just uh, change this total custom message it is possible that I that I will show you afterwards but for now think that the name field is required I did not write it anywhere here right but how it comes this name if I uh, for example uh, give here the visitor name for example the variable name I call visitor name and here I call visitor name right now instead of name here this is name but now you will see it uh, another thing that is visitor name if I click on submit you will see that the visitor name field is required from where it is coming this is actually coming from here that is your visitor name it is going to remove the as, uh, underscore and make it uh, and replace it with white space and that is showing into the output but if you want you can change this message i will show you afterwards but for now just see that this is the system how you can show the error message under the required so here i am going back and going back to it um, uh, it into name so it is okay if you want you can also make the email required so what i will do i will just use another one here here comma and then add the email so here instead of name i am going to call the email then you will see two messages one is name and another one is email two fields are here mandatory for example so here enter you see that click on submit you see the name field is required and the email field is required right so in this way you can put it for other fields also for example in the message i call this that is message so in the case of message that is also required so if you click on submit that is required now if i give here um, name in the name but email and message are required then if you click on submit you see that as you give their name field a value so that error message is not showing here only the email and message is showing here now if i give everything okay there is no required or no empty field then if i click on submit you see that success what does that mean that means if there is no error then after uh, checking the error it will come here and this line will be accessed and it will show that equals success here